Okay, it's the 31st of May 2013. The Oklahoma City uh, tornado storm is on its way here. So uh, I've decided on a few experiments and uh, what we've got here is a 20 volt panel that I've made and that's going to go in the window. So I'll put that to there and we've got a couple of garden lights that are ready to receive uh, the lightning as it flashes. I've got a meter down here that's currently showing hardly anything at all of course and I'm hoping to detect the energy whatever it is coming from the lightning and uh, hopefully do something with it as well during the lightning storm ok there are some slight flashes and just to show that this uh, this big panel doesn't react that much to them uh, we're at uh, well, 7 millivolts whoa there's a big nice bright flash and <laughs> that zoomed up I don't know what that went to it looks like it's come a lot nearer since the last lightning but that was a good example of what happens to this panel when we do get the lightning so here we are so now we're reading 13 millivolts and the reason for that will be this these lights uh, reflecting in the glass of the window hopefully oh there we go bit of a strike 40 millivolts not much Gotta wait for these uh, the intensity to improve. You know, we heard the sirens um, at about eight o'clock. That was our first indication to go down. They went off probably three or four times. We did hear heavy rain and hail for probably twenty minutes or so. We were downstairs for about an hour, but that is all we heard. Thank goodness. And I understand my son, your husband, who used to work at a casino there. The roof of that casino got ripped off. That's right. Um, from what the news is saying, they're not letting anyone near the property. The damage is, is pretty significant, a lot of debris. They were without power the last I heard, but the, the roof was removed from what, we, what we're hearing. So, yeah, it was pretty scary. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Hug the little ones for me. Thanks. We will. Have a good night. All right. An asteroid that... Okay. 0.19. We're both 0.1 volts all the time. Yeah, 0.29 something there. No capacitor is on this solar panel, and yet we're we're getting over 0.1.25 there all the time. And here is the lightning. Really quite stunning. I mean, it is a constant lightning, but it's uh, not so constant. I wouldn't have thought that we should always have 0.1 as the received voltage on the panel. Look at that stunning stuff. There we go, a nice bright one. I'll go back to here. And we're showing a uh, potential across of point one high the high point ones now all the time. Okay, so I thought with all that point one going on, here's a capacitor, and I'm going to try and collect some lightning energy. So there we are, put the clip lead on, and let's see if we can charge a capacitor from the lightning. Well, 0.97, oh this is a, uh, I believe it's a 2200 UF, and we'll see where we go with this. There's a point one of a volt. We're actually charging a capacitor by lightning. Whoa, that was bright. Okay, so what you saw there was this light switch on, which is now pointed toward the window, the solar panel, and uh, and there was quite the increase in the numbers there. There we go, there's the thunderclap. Right, it's nearly 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm off to bed. There's plenty more of the storm to come through, but um, anyway, we'll see what the capacitor ended up with on it. There 
there we are, 0.546, 0.547. So that's uh, 2200 UF charged to half a volt. So pretty good little test there really. Alright, thanks very much for watching.